beachfront bronzers. There comes in three different colors. There is a matte side and the shimmer side. Bronzer is not rocket science. This is how to not go out looking like you are an Oompa Loompa, right? No one wants an orange orange face. No one wants orange stripes on their cheeks. Nobody. I use a tapered brush. You could also use a powder puff, puff brush. This is the unique puff brush. And this is actually what I use to blend. So we're going to hold on to this little baby. Um, and it's pretty simple. I am using the darkest color today because I want to show you there it is. I want to show you that it's all about how you blend. Okay. I'm very pale right now for me. I get darker in the summer, so I will probably more likely use this in the summer. But, um, for now, I just want to show you that no matter what color you get, it's going to look gorgeous. You just have to blend. I just mix the two, the two sides and you tap it on your brush, tap off the excess. Okay. Think about where the sun hits your face. It hits the top of your forehead, along your cheek line, the tips of your nose, along your jawline, and your chest, right? Don't forget the chest, okay? So you kind of think of it on one side, you're gonna go like an E, on the other side, it'll be a number three, and it's the same thing on both sides, okay? You don't wanna do your whole entire face, just we'll do one side at a time, so. There's the three. Okay, and I'm like I said, I'm going dark on purpose because I want to show you that it's all it's all about the blend, about the blend, about the blend. There we go, and then I'm gonna put some on the tips of my nose. And then remember, don't forget the chest and the neck because you want you don't want to have a tan face, and I don't have a really low cut shirt on today, but you don't want to have a tan face and a uh, white body. So be sure to put it kind of all over. Okay. Crazy, right? We're not stopping there. Don't worry. No worries. I know you are worried, but now it's time to blend. Now you can use, like I said, you can use a powder puff brush or you can use a beauty blender if you have one of those. Um, if you accidentally go too light or too dark, I mean, then you can take a little bit of your touch powder and use that over top. But since um, I want to have that sun-kissed glow, I'm not going to add any color. I actually like how it is. That's as easy as it gets. I do like to add some blush over top. Blush, you know, when you're out in the sun for a little bit, you get a little bit of pink on your cheeks. This is the perfect color for this. This is sweet. It's the perfect mixture of pink and peach, just to give you a little bit of a pink color on your cheeks. Um, now, when I don't have bronzer on, I usually do my blush all the way up to my hairline, but since I already have that contoured part there, I'm just gonna go on the apples of my cheeks. This is a blusher brush. This is Unique's blusher brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of color. And then I'm going to go right on my cheeks. And again, we're going to blend, so we're not going to be scared. We won't, we won't be scared of color. That's the beauty of mineral pigments is they are nicely pigmented and they will stay put on your face all day, okay? But, um... You need to blend, 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 blend. Okay, so back to the blending. Up, circle, up, circle. And again, I'm just gonna do enough to look gorgeous. Look at that, you guys. It's such a pretty, I look like I just got back from the beach, right? Gorgeous. Get you some beachfront bronzer, it's amazing. 